100 metres. Which is a tremendous bonus for you viewers at home. The programme running slightly late here, so we get this one live, and it is a big one indeed. Just look at this lineup. The feature man, Leroy Burrell, America. I've beaten only once this year, the fastest man in the world for the past two seasons. Raymond Stewart goes for Jamaica in lane one. Witherspoon, America in two. Sanguma of France in three. Burrell, the world's fastest man at the moment, in lane four. The European champion, the Commonwealth champion, Linford Christie, Thames Valley Harriers, and Great Britain in lane five. In lane six, the world 200-meter champion, twice, Calvin Smith. Then Chidi Emo running right into form for Nigeria in lane number seven. And Mike Marsh, United States, nearest the camera, in lane eight. As Burrell right on the edge of the picture, Sanguma in the all black, the tall figure of Mark Witherspoon, who goes in lane number two. Just looking up there, I'm looking to see if lane one is occupied, but it is. Raymond Stewart of Jamaica. First in Madrid, second in Bratislava. Silver in the 87 World Championship, just out of shot at the moment. As Leroy Burrell. The man who beat Carl Lewis in the Good World Games, he's beaten everyone this season. The only defeat was by Adonikin of Nigeria in Malmo, a man he's beaten several times. Linford Christie drawn right alongside him at the start, so important. As Calvin Smith, the former world record holder at this distance. Next to him, Chidi Imo, the Nigerian coming smack into form. Nearest the camera, Mike Marsh. The 100 metres. And in fact... Linford Christie was the man who put his hand up there and decided he wasn't ready to go. I think he had a problem with his blocks, David. He wasn't satisfied. The moment he put some weight on it, the back block uh, seemed to shift, and he has every right to tell the starter that he's not uh, perfectly formed. Watch this. You'll see uh, that's Imo you're seeing in lane two, Mars this side in the red, Calvin Smith. But Linford Christie, as soon as he put the weight on that, he knew he was off balance, told the starter so. Of course, that's a faulty start, not a false start, so he doesn't uh, get a point against him for that. And the start is so important and very, very important in Linford's case. He's improved his starting, but it's not been as good, I don't think, this year as it was in the, uh, has been in the last two years. But the important for the thing for him is to get it right for the European in ten days' time. And this is a very, very big test. Calvin Smith next door. There's Chidi Mo. Nearest the camera, Mike Marsh. The lineup again. Raymond Stewart, Jamaica, lane one. Witherspoon, America, lane two. Sanguma of France in lane three. There's the favorite, Leroy Burrell, the world number one from America in four. Christie in five. Calvin Smith in six. Chidi Emo in seven. Mike Marsh in lane eight. The 100 meters final. to be the one Sanguma he seemed to be very quickly away there the crowd whistling but I've no doubt at all the starter was right uh, to recall and I've no doubt in my mind it was Sanguma I think he was thinking about the kilogram of gold that goes to any world record tonight from Switzerland <laughs> it was uh, certainly Sanguma that broke and he broke clear and he might have broken the world record if they're letting him get away with that Actually, it's interesting, Sanguma, in fact, is ranked number three in the world at 10.02. Number one is Burrell, then number two is Christie, with his time of 10.02 in the Commonwealth Games. His uh, winning time in the final was wind assisted. Uh, but they did say Sanguma got a flyer when he did 10.02. Most of the experts reckon that uh, he was lucky to get away with it. Anyway, he didn't get away with that one, so one more false start from him. He's out. Burrell there trying to relax alongside Christie. Christie, as usual, impassive. So, for the third time, one faulty start, one false start, they settle down for the 100 metres. This time they go. Burrell not too well away. Christie was quite well away and also going well as Emo and Calvin Smith. And 
storming through now is Burrell. Burrell comes right through, Christie probably gets second, and a photograph for third between Emo and Witherspoon. Very, very close indeed for the places. Emo may well have got the third place, but Christie is coming back. The time, 10.13. There's a headwind of nearly a metre a second against. But uh, that was a good start by Christie, and Christie's coming to form at the time that matters. Look at him there. He was quickly off the blocks. Burrell alongside him loses, oh, about half a yard in the first 30 metres, but comes back in brilliant form. He's unbeatable at the moment. These sprinter supreme. Christie, though, hangs in there, and having been caught, doesn't lose his form, and starts to come back. Burrell driving for the line. Christie in second place. Imo coming through very fast indeed, and Witherstone on the far side with a spoon. That's very close for second place, but my original impression was that Christie had got it. And that camera isn't quite on the line, that finished camera. But it is very, very close indeed. And whether he's second or third on the photograph, the message to the rest of the Europeans is that Christie's back. Burrell was not disconcerted by that rather sloppy start by his standards. And look how he keeps his form and drives. He's perfectly balanced. He's a powerhouse, but he moves so beautifully as well. Sanguma, one of Christie's uh, main rivals in the European, is really struggling there in the background. I think the important thing is that uh, Burrell, well, he kept his nerve, he kept his cool, and he kept going, but he was pushed to that fast time by Linford Christie, and Linford Christie got ahead of Sanguma, the only other European in it. And it is a photograph, Chidi Imo from Nigeria, who's had one good win over Linford Christie this season, did finish very fast, but I thought that uh, that was a good piece of running from Linford Christie to come back so strongly. And it is, uh, in fact, we've now got the unofficial flash, he did get second as we thought in the first place, Burrell 10.13, Christie 10.20 into that headwind. Interesting to see them side by side there, and the fact is that as the season goes on, Christie is getting closer and closer to Burrell. Well, much more. I think Linford would be happy to get that one behind him because he really didn't have his mind on it. The Americans come here to clean up, to win, to show off, because this is one of the few European meetings that goes live on TV in America. Yeah. So obviously the boy, they like this, their parents and fans back home to see them. And it's, it's their night, really. And the, the Europeans, and Linford Christie in particular, had his mind on something else. And I don't think he'd ever thought he could beat Burrell, because he's clearly the fastest the in the, the world. Yeah, yeah, he is, yeah. Yeah, and, um, you know, we, we mentioned uh, all the British...